to go to the garage. Which is right here. And then this. Zero seven four five. What? Okay, that has to be connected somehow. But how? Unless I do military time? What's 7.45 in military time? That's... And a 24-hour clock, that's... 12, 13, 14, 15... Wait. 12? Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen, nineteen. No. Okay. Maybe we need more info. That's panel three. God damn it. I don't get it. I 
I haven't gotten that far. I need to see what's el what else is in the attic. I feel like I'm missing something. this does do not touch yeah, yeah, yeah. Input fluid mount is designed on the left. Output PSI value is displayed on the right. am I missing? Whoa. It's a box with three lights and big old mad scientist switch. Looks like it provides power to the accumulator. There are three gnarly cables coming into it from below. Probably needs three power sources like the, in the blueprint that I can turn the accumulator on and end all of this. And right now, there's no power going to any of them. Sounds like something opening this machine made something break downstairs. We made it to the accumulator. And what broke downstairs?
Oh. There's a broken piece of glass on the ground. It looks like there are letters, but it doesn't spell out anything. S T U V W X Y Z. I guess the broken glass piece came from here. The lamp opened up when I used the machine in the attic. Did that not save a memory? Stay. Okay, that clearly didn't do anything. Oh. These cables look like they're carrying out, carrying a lot of electricity. I guess I need to follow them to the sources of power if I want to turn this thing on. Two of them disappear into the floor, the other goes into this spiky looking machine. Is that thing a lightning rod? Elch brand static pressure pumps across basic operations basics. Every Elch brand static pressure pump comes with a configura configurable set of pressure cylinders that can be arranged in any order. Normal cylinders increase PSI by output by wait what? That goes downstairs. That goes into the basement then, or the bathroom. But like, shit, he's coming. Really, dude? Holding up okay? That spiky machine in the attic is a lightning rod. You need to turn it on before the lightning strikes so you can power up the accumulator. You need to spell out the clue you found. Stay by configuring the letters in the lamp in the study. See you later, Emily. Wait, what? Okay, so back up to the study. Ah. Oh.
Hi, Francine. Emily. What have you been around here? What have you been up to around here? I'm sorry? I just get the feeling you're doing things you shouldn't be doing. That you shouldn't be capable of doing. We need to get out of here somehow, Francine. I'm trying to figure out how. I'm sorry. I'm not asking you to be sorry, Emily. I'm asking you to help make sense of this. I don't think I can. Then neither can I. Do you know anything about dark industrial tunnels filled with steam? Didn't Gary work in the steam tunnels that run under our school? He'd probably know more. What? I... It's interesting. Yeah, so are your friends who you haven't seen in a year. Go talk to them. Is that every painting now? The house keeps changing. The time's different now. It's... It's empty. There's no way I totally forgot to pack. What the hell? really went on in on the artificial stuff, huh? Our receipt was half fruit, sna fruit snacks. Yeah. I don't know what it was, what it is about this weekend. I don't usually eat this stuff, but it just feels right right now. Sure. Nostalgia and all that. Sure. I love artificial stuff, though. Like blue raspberry. Blue raspberry doesn't make sense. It's literally not based on anything. There's no such thing as a blue raspberry, and we're comfortable with it entirely as a product. Pink lemonade is the same. It's alien and bizarre, and that's why I love it. Actually, pink lemonade is a traditional drink. Historically, it gets its pink color from strawberries, or with the addition of sumac. Sumac is actually a plant that grows around here. No shit. None. Hi, Emily. Oh, hey, Emily. Gary, didn't you used to work in the steam tunnels under our school? I sure did. Man, was that ever a time. Some questions. First off, what are steam tunnels? Second, why are steam tunnels? Good questions. Short answers, uh... And I don't know. I mean, I kinda know. Back in the 50s, these tunnels under the college were used for steam heat for the dorms and classrooms. Sometimes in the 70s, and mostly that mostly gets replaced with gas and electric. But the tunnels are still there and still producing steam. In the 90s, they start to use the, those tunnels for network infrastructure instead, but... Some young IT kid still needs to run through those tunnels and to maintain the Cokes and RJ4, RJ45s, right? So when I was working IT for the school, that was part of my job. My supervisor was very casual, and he told me that if I walked into certain parts of those tunnels at certain times, I would die. How did avoiding steam work? It was pretty simple. Sections of the tunnels were, col were color-coded, and the maps in the area had lights that lit up in a sequence. When a room's matching light was on, it was fu full of deadly steam. So it was mostly about internalizing the sequence, picking a safe room, waiting it out until it was safe to leave again. And then spending a few years suppressing the memory of it. Talk to you later.
That's what I wanted. Back up to the attic. Or wait, no, I don't need to go to the attic, I need to go downstairs. I need to get in here somehow. But I don't know what PSI this is supposed to be at. this goes to the tunnels. Yeah. ones that light up just before the door reopens. Okay. Why? What? <sighs> what did he say? So Emily, do you want to hear a secret? Yes. Good. The numbers on the lightning rod's dials correspond to the letters on the lamp in the study. A through H are counted from the beginning of the alphabet, starting with A, but S through Z are counted from the end of the alphabet, so Z is 1 and S is 8. As for the missing dial in the study, you should be able to use the same pattern to figure out what number you need. Okay. Let's solve that first, then. Here. 
Go back upstairs. Nope, in here. the attic. We don't have a fucking picture of the thing in the cellar. All I know is that it's stay. Wait. Should be able to do that. Okay, so Z, Y, wait. S T U V W X Y Z. No. What comes before S? R. R S seven. Eight. No. Six. R S T. One. Two. Right? S T oh my god I did get it wrong S T U V W X Y Z I got it wrong. That's what it was. Eight, seven, one, two. 
Okay, we know what the combo is now. Now let's go back to the basement and see if we can figure out how the fuck those steam tunnels work. Hey, Gary. I don't get it. Is it when the light's on or when it's off? Like, what the fuck? It doesn't explain it very well. Hold up. Talk. Or, I guess she already has come up to you in a panic. Uh, no. What happened? When we got to the house yesterday, we were supposed to let be let in by Mr. Ness, the guy who owns the place. Instead, there was a key in one of those fake rocks, and a note, make yourselves at home. Talk about hospitality, huh? It was pretty simple. Sections of the tunnels, tunnels were color-coded, and the maps were in the area had lights that lit up in a sequence. When the room's matching light was on, it was full of deadly steam. So it was mostly about internalizing the sequence, picking a safe room, and waiting it out until it was safe to leave again. And then spending a... yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's a sequence then. In here. Okay. So it's red and blue. Blue and yellow. Red and yellow. Red and blue. Okay. Extend the lightning rod in the attic, yep. Red and yellow, red and blue, then it's blue and yellow, and then it's red and yellow. So don't go yet. After this. Just do like Gary said, stay out of color of a stay out of a color coded room if its light is on and wait it out in the gray rooms until it's safe. So 
So it's red and blue right now. Then it's going to be blue and yellow. Then it's going to be red and yellow. Or yellow and red. And then after this, it'll be red and blue. And it'll be safe. Wait. Wait, what? Hey, geez, things are tough, aren't they? So, Emily, do you want to hear a secret? Yes. Good. I've been thinking. The time clock in the outbuilding. It's set to the current time, right? What does that mean you need to set the combination lock in the garage to the current time to? Bye for now. To the current time? this seven thirteen <laughs> to Parker Nestor homeowner this is the second time we've attempted to contact you regarding the residence at 1142 Olivier Street. Our records indicate that the res residential dwelling on your property has been consuming an amount of power that could only be possible through an illegally modified utility meter. As a point of reference, the average home in this city uses 30 kilowatts per day, or 30 kilowatts per hour per day. The amount of energy your property consumes is equivalent to the power drawn by the oncology wing of the nearest children's hospital. Unless you're treating a Girl Scout troop of child cancer patients in your basement, we're strongly recommending recommend rationing your usage. As outlined in State Penal Code 37-B, any persons who, with the intent to obtain utility services without paying the lawful charge, or with intent to enable other persons to do so, or with the intent or with intent to deprive utility providers of the full lawful charge owed, commits, authorizes, aids, or abets, any of the following shall be guilty of a misdemeanor. Diverts utility services by any, by any means for any purpose, tampers with or interferes with any property owned by or used by utility services, or prevents any form of utility meter from determining the appropriate charge, reroutes or repurposes energy in a way that, po that poses a danger to life and property, if the defendant has previously been convicted for an offense under this section or has outstanding delinquent fines for matters outlined in this section, this violation is punishable by imprisonment in a county jail or state prison for not more than a year. Due to the lack of timely response to our previous communication, your fine has now increased to $570. Please send your payment to our offices using the attached envelope postmarked on or before July 3rd to avoid additional fees or arrest. Bristol Rickshire, GHD, GHDWP. Parker, pay the damn fine. County jail is not a wellness retreat. It is not going to build a build character. Please take this seriously. A regular day. Probably wake. More realistic wake-up time, 6.30, 7.45. Coffee, toast, journal, read, sit outside if weather permits. Attempt to prevent any small garden from dying, a futile practice. 8 o'clock, put on a record, shower, put on face if I must. Work, work, work. Pleasant, The pleasant ritual of a, ma of a making a little sandwich or salad. Cup of iced tea, a 
bit of a nibble and a rest. Take it with the project du jour. Work, work, work. Dinner. Elaborateness dependent on uh, how drained I feel at, uh, by this point. Uh huh. As you know it, it varies. 6.30, a little treat, whatever that looks like on a, in a given day. Piece of chocolate, guilty pleasure TV, nice bath combination of above. Meditation, or whatever you would call what I do. Wind down, sit on porch, perhaps invite company of anyone amen amenable. Ten thirty, typical of me. Optimistic bedtime, realistic bedtime. Mind crab boil, hysteria practice, hysteria exercise. Monthly poetry reading, July theme, uh, Jung's theory of the shadow. Please RSVP with Parker or Clara ASAP if you plan on attending so we don't have a repeat of last time. Do you know what it's like to be struck, stuck with a ra ratio of 15 live lobsters to three people to eat them? Are you prepared for them to escape? Are you ready to let them slide down your gullet all drenched in butter and fear? You can taste. Can you taste the guilt? Will you enjoy it? Anyway, again, RSVP. Oh, I get it. Panel one, and this is panel three. The layout of this thing reminds me of the control panel I found. Guess they're connected somehow. Are you gonna connect?
Okay, so right now it's gonna be red and yellow. And red and blue. So now it's red and yellow. And it's gonna be blue and yellow. Or blue and red, rather, red and blue. Blue and yellow. not have a map? I do. So it's going to be red and blue. Fuck! Thought I could make it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a quick break. Oh, uh, it's, uh, I'm not entirely sure what it's about. You're trapped in this house. You're trapped in this house on some kind of time loop and you're trying to get out. Uh, your friends have no recollection of any of this time loop. And your character, I guess, has some kind of... Uh, some kind of OCD, and I think this might be just like some kind of weird dream sequence. But uh, we're gonna come back in just a few minutes to play more. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube at a later date, it's real weird. Yeah. Um, some of the puzzles are kind of hard too. Like, I've been stuck on a couple for a while. <laughs> But uh, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to try and figure out more of it. Um, but if you're watching this on YouTube at a later date, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.